Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be on a Fox body once again. I'm gonna to try to replace these seat belts. They're in really bad shape. Let me show you what they look like and then we'll get to it. So this is the passenger side of the seat belt and you can see that it's been rubbing and this one's really bad shape. So I ordered some new ones. I'm gonna to try to replace both the front ones. I got this kit. This comes from CJ Pony Parts. This is a smoke gray seat belts. And here's all the plastic pieces. And there's two rubber grommets. I'm not sure what those are for just yet until I get into it. But hopefully we can find out. So let's uh, start taking stuff apart and try to get these replaced because it's important to have good seat belts, especially riding my family in the Fox body when we go out on cruises and stuff. I don't want to have a wreck or something and just breaking. So first things first, you wanna take the seat, fold it up and slide it all the way forward. This Torx bolt is a T50. You have an electrical connection to the seat and you can unplug it. You also have a Torx T50 here for the lower. We can take it off. Make sure to keep all the hardware because there's not hardware in the kit and you will need to go back with them. What you want to do here is take your little screwdriver, go behind this plastic cover and just pop it out. Slides on with a couple little clamps here. You got another T50 here. Now you're going to have to remove this cover at least enough to get your hand back there because you have the seat belt body back there that's actually got the windings in it so you've got to get to that so we can unbolt it and you'll pretty much see all the screws you can pop this top one down just by pulling it and it's got these clips here behind okay i got it loose enough to get my hand back here and be able to get to that T50 bolt to be able to release the seat belt. And I also pop this little plastic piece. You just grab the top and roll it and it should pop out of there. Should free up to be able to hopefully feed the seat belt through this hole. So I got the seat belt out. So I had this wire run to it, there is cable. So what I had to do is take this apart. I had to pull this off to the side and unhook it here. And then it had these rubber clips or plastic clips that were in these holes and I had to just pry it out and that should unhook the wire. I don't think the new ones will have that. I will see once I get it open, but I don't think it will. So I may just tuck this back into the car. And if I ever come across a set of original seat belts, it's in really, really good shape. You never know. I may go back with it or something. But let me see if I can feed this through that hole and try to get this seat belt changed. So you have to feed it back through the back side. And that's your seat belt assembly. Let's open the new one. I'm not sure that it matters which side goes to which side. I did notice that the original one has these locating tabs that you can put in there and then you tighten up the bolt and it kind of keeps it from moving versus this one you just bolt in and it can probably move so I'm hoping that it doesn't I'm hoping that it stays in place but it is metal reinforced hopefully it will do the job it's got to be better than these seat belts that's frayed just be aware if you go after market that the seat belts are going to be just a tad different you see you can't use this cable that goes to it anywhere you're going to have to just unhook this i mean you could cut it probably i wouldn't recommend it i would probably try to save it and that way, if you ever wanted to put a set of original seat belts, if you come across some, you could put them back in it. Tuck this wire back in here, out of the way. So now I've got to take this seat belt and feed it back through the hole of the panel here. So let's slide this back in here. Get your bolt, T50. Now, before I put this seat belt back together, I actually have new weather stripping. And while I have this part all the way out, 
I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of this trim and go ahead and install this weather stripping. As you can see, it's ripped and I've got brand new to put in. I've just not did it yet because I was trying to find a good time to do it. So I think that will be the best bet is just go ahead and remove a couple more pieces of trim, put the new weather stripping in. So I'm gonna remove this skid plate, this plastic one, and I'm gonna move that kick panel and I'm gonna remove the A-arm plastic trim here. I would recommend one of these little tools here. This, you can change out the bits and you've got a loosen and tighten switch here. It's a little ratcheting tool. I'd recommend this for a Fox body just because a lot of the screws are tucked in in a way that they're hard to get to. You've only got like maybe an inch or two of clearance, which you can barely get this in there and kind of break the screw loose. And then you can take the bit out and kind of just do it by hand. Or if you have a set of bits like this, you can use like a little wrench or a little crescent wrench or something and grab a hold of it too. But this does make it quite a bit easier. Uh, to reach those top places that some of the screws are in a fox body but i would recommend one of these little tools i try to put a link in the description if i can find one on amazon or something that way you can kind of look at them and see what you think now once you get it to this point you pretty much just gotta grab it and pull it off I mean, this is a simple, but what you have is you have two grooves here and this one's got the metal in it. So what, what happens is the interior trim goes over the edge of this metal and this is what your door sandwiches against. So you have to take all them interior surrounding pieces off to get them off of this lip. Once you get remove them off this lip, you can pull the rubber off. So let me clean this up and then we'll put the new rubber on. Now that that's all clean, you just need to make sure that the circle on the trim is pointed to the outside. You're gonna have a little extra. You don't have to be super precise, but just try to mark it where you want it. You need some type of uh, snips that can cut metal because the inside one has metal in it. Just make sure when you put this on that you press really hard on this molding because it has to go down on there really good. So now we should be able to go back with everything, put all the trim on and put the seat belt in over there. I'm gonna start trying to put some of this back together. Now you've got to take one of your seat belt and you've got to feed it in just like so and try to feed it in where this bend is on the same side as your seat belt because it goes like this in your seat. This will wrap around your seat just like so. Now we can put our bolt back in to get that part done. Now the rest of this is gonna be pretty easy. Just flip your plastic piece down then you're going to put your bolt in here, tighten that. You're going to put your plastic piece back just by pushing. Now you're going to notice there's two different plastics that go over your seat. This one that's more narrow at the top, this will actually be the one that goes down to, towards the floor. You want to make sure that you pick the right cover. The one that's more rounded, it will go beside the seat. So this one goes down towards the kick panel. So we need to take this and slide it in. It's a pretty snug fit. You can take your screwdriver, kind of grab a hold of it and push it down in there. And you can see it comes out here. I'm gonna put my rubber garment back in there from the old one. Slide your bolt through it, just like so. And then bolt it to the car. You wanna make sure that the curve points inward. This will hold your seat belt to the inside of the car instead of holding out to the outside. So just be aware when you install this that you don't want your curve sticking out. You want it to stick in. And the last piece, your little plastic piece that goes right here, just slide them in and fold it down. So this looks good. It's got good retractable tension and then it goes back to place. 
So I think we got it. Okay guys, that's how you install the seat belt on an 87 Fox body. I hope this helped you out in some way. I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you on the next one.